Welcome to the Twisted League. For two months only, I'll be locked on the continent of Zaya with a fresh Iron Man account, competing with other players to finish as many tasks as possible. With powerful relics offering new and innovative ways to progress, the Twisted League is sure to be a true test of game knowledge and theory crafting. Let's get to it. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Twisted League progress video. At the end of the last episode, I opened all of the crates that I got from 50 million firemaking XP, and this episode pushing on towards the fifth and final relic, so looking to complete a lot of hard and elite tasks. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. All right, that is 15 hunters, so I can now start hunting the sandworms for the rest of my Piscarillus favor. Really regretting not using the lamp from Client of Karenda on Hunter. This was absolutely awful. I decided to come and scout a raid so I didn't have to compete with anybody. And I was just catching these guanic bats and it took longer than I would have liked. But uh, hopefully catching the sandworms can get me up to, I think it's 33 or 34 Hunter that's required for aerial fishing. That'd be pretty nice. There we go, that is 100% Piscarillus favour. That got me up to 28 Hunter. You do need 35 for the aerial fishing, so I'll either have to carry on here a little bit or go and train Hunter elsewhere. I'm not gonna do that now, but nice to get a few levels at least. All right, these 100 fruits should hopefully take me to level 54 so that I can use the next tier. Let's have a look. No! Wow, that was anticlimactic. That being said though, I can now buy my first piece of the farmer's outfit being the boots. I'm going to go for the full outfit first. I was considering buying the can, but for some reason I thought it was only 50 points rather than 200. And I'm not actually sure that's worth it because you only get 50 league points for doing that. Um, so I think I'll just go for the farmer's outfit and maybe if I have leftover points going for 85 farming, get the can. We'll see. Alright, so these 100 fruits should now get me above 54 and I can use the next tier of fruit for better XP. And picking up the second piece of the outfit, which is the hat. In my opinion, the best piece of the collection. Look at that bad boy. Piece 3 out of 4, farmer's trousers, just need 150 more points to buy the jacket. I'll have the full set. So I've had these seven medium clues in the bank since I did my thieving at stone chess. With medium clues there are 14 steps overall, two of them I can't do at the moment because I don't have the required items. And for one of these steps um, it basically needs a full set of Adi armor. and one of the best ways to get it is just through medium clues anyway. So I think just for the hell of it I'm just going to try and see if I can do these and um, yeah see what we can get. So I managed to complete two medium clues out of the seven that I had. Uh, let's see what we can get. Cash is okay. Oh, that, it's not the Addy Helm that I want. I suppose the Adamant Pickaxe is quite nice. That'd be an upgrade for me. If I can get the Addy Armor through the Clue Scrolls or once I get the uh, Mithril Boots through Slayer, basically having either one of those steps unlocked uh, improves my ability to complete a medium clue. I think it goes up to like 80% from like 63%. So might just hold on to my medium clues for the time being because yeah 60% chance of being able to complete one's not that good. Just hit 74 farming so I can now use the highest tier of seed at the tithe farm which is going to really speed up the experience looking forward to trying that out. All right there is 80 farming which is another task complete also got another points to finish off the farmer's outfit so we'll go and buy that now. I'm going to stay at tithe farm for two more levels so that I can then use a garden pie to get a plus three boost and enter the highest tier of the farming guild which is another task but nice to get those two out of the way. All right, that is 82 farming. I'm gonna spend my last few points on buying the auto weed perk. Possibly might come back at some point in the future for the seed box and Gricola's can. They are a task, but just for the time being, the quicker points were getting the outfit. And I just need to get a garden pie to boost myself into the highest tier of the farming guild now. Okay, so that should be 250 points for entering the highest tier of the farming guild. I'm now gonna work on some quests and favor and get all of these out of the way and get up to 100% favor as well and see where that takes me. All right, there is the Ascent of Arceus quest completed. That takes me, let me see the levels, 34 Hunter and 15 Rune Crafting. I just need one more Hunter level to unlock Aerial Fishing, so that's a nice chunk of the XP done. Okay, so having just completed Tale of the Righteous, I'm 150 points away from unlocking the fifth relic. I can get 100 points 
pretty easily by getting 40 smithing and 60 crafting so I'm going to look into doing that just because the favour for Shazian and Lovakenge is pretty slow so it might be better for me to do something different to get these last few points. Alright so I knocked out a bunch of really quick easy tasks and I now have all of the points I need to unlock the fifth and final relic which is going to be Zeric's Wisdom which gives another two times XP in every skill which means as a baseline I'll have 10x XP and then for the skills that stack with the Artisan Multiplier that's going to be times 20 which is ridiculous. And you might be thinking what am I going to be doing now? I'm going to be going back to Winter Todd and getting another 50 mil fire making XP which won't take too long um, but I just want to take advantage of having low HP before I start Slayer. Well there is 90 fletching, I've gone all the way from level 20 to 90 purely through Winter Todd, that is nuts. That's a nice little milestone for 50 points, 300 Winter Todd kills. Oh it is done, 100 million fire making XP. That is so nice. I think that's 500 points. And I, I really don't think I'm going to come back to Winter Todd, at least not until maybe right at the very end of the league if I want to go for 200 mil. Can't see it happening though. I've been opening the crates as I've been going along. Haven't had anything, no uniques or anything. So these 10 crates are my last chance at the tome or the pet. Nah, nothing but good supplies and actually quite nice to be done with Winter Todd now. Let's uh, claim the points. 600, very nice. Also forgot to mention the other skills, so up to 77 agility now which is really nice, 73 construction, 92 fletching and 67 woodcutting, not too bad. Alright, just finished my second slayer task. I'm up to 50 range now and I can use the magic short bow it's one of the perks of having such a high fletching early on. That's going to be a really nice bonus to have. I'm also thinking of staying at Sand Crabs for a bit to get my defense and attack up to 40 and then possibly going to Fire Giants to camp for a rune skimmy before actually starting Slayer properly. I think that's worth doing. Um, otherwise, the best weapon that I can get is probably like a Myth Scimitar. Another bonus of camping Fire Giants, I guess, with the big bones. If I kill like a hundred of them and bury them that'll get me overhead so that's another thing I want to get early on before starting Slayer. Just finished a moss giant task, I actually banked the bones because I can build a limestone altar in my house and use these for even more experience so I think alongside the insole giant heads that I got that should be enough for 43 prayer which is really nice. Also picked up my first brimstone key so let's see what we can get. Uh, not the best. And new assignment, sulfur lizards. They'll be quite good for mediums. Hey, there we go, that is my chapel set up for training prayer, so I'll quickly get 43 with the big bones that I've got from that moss giant task. There we go, even managed to get 44 for eagle eye, which is pretty good. And there is 85 farming, that's pretty nice, so that gives access to the final tier of the farming guild, so I can do fruit trees as well now. Hey, there we go, that is the rune scimitar. It took me 133 kills to get it, which is over double the drop rate, but I think... I'm pretty happy that I came here instead of going to fire giants. A uh, really nice amount of laws and cosmic runes which are going to be helpful. A rune med helm which is going to be an upgrade as well. But 15 hard clues to go and do now and I think I can do them now that I've got overheads. So that's going to be interesting. Probably going to be some decent upgrades for me there. So let's end the video with 15 hard clues. Alright, 15 hard clues to open. What I would really like from these would be a set of rune armor and possibly black dragon hide as well. If I could get some lore runes too that would be really useful because then I'd be able to make some more battlefront teleports for Slayer. Anything else would be a bonus, so let's open up. Wow, Robin Hood hat. That's going to be so good for range. Excellent start. Nice, rune plate skirt and the dehyde chaps. Forgot to mention the Guthix plate legs as well. Okay. Yes, there we go, plate body. So I've got plate legs and a plate body now. Oh yes, that's really good. Bandos chaps, that's an upgrade on the uh, black dehyde chaps. Just gonna have to bank some of this. Nice. 
So I've got full uh, blessed dragon hide now, which is really good. Kite shield as well, excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. That was a really good haul, actually. Let's uh, dump all of this in the bank and see what we got. Yeah, so easily got the full rune apart from the helmet. The Robin Hood hat is going to be really good. And yeah, the blessed dragon hide as well for range. Very pleased with that from a first 15 hard clues. That's it for episode three, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Pretty crazy to get so many item upgrades alongside the fifth and final relic all in one episode. I'm all set for Slayer now, so going to be doing lots of that in the next episode alongside plenty of clue scrolls as well. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like and make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. Until then, guys, take care. Thank you.